I sense a presence in the dark. Spinning the flashlight around toward it reveals. It's Momo. Oh no, it's her again. Killer Peach lying in wait for me. Hold on. <laughs> Would I have to turn off one of my lights? I can't see shit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, why is Killer Peach here? I thought you defeated her, Cade. Time's been turned back. Killer Peach vanished, but the strange mama haven't stopped, so it's not her doing after all. Damn, I'll think. I'll think about right now. I gotta do something about her. Killer Peach sways as she walks toward me. Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing here? I don't know. The same question as before, but there's no way I can use the same method I did last time. I don't have the tools. Gotta think of another way. I know the truth behind her grudge now. I need to let her know that's that somehow, but if I say anything wrong, she'll cut me down. Oh god. Hey, look. This is the fire report from Moe, Momoe Department Store. I thrust the report out in front of me and Killer Peach slows. It may be me imagining it, but it seems like she's not sure what to do. Why do you have... All her eyes swivel to focus on me. Her stare pierces me to my bone. It's clear she'll see through any lie. But you told me not to lie. Oh no, it wasn't in her. It wasn't in her belongings. That was something else. Whoops, not bad. My bad. Sorry. He's talking. I didn't I didn't do an investigation. She did. You defeated me. Yeah, I did. I defeated you and that's how I got this report. I'm using it to investigate the truth behind the department store fire. Truth. Investigating the truth. That's what you did when you were alive. What did... when I was alive? You didn't just want revenge on Sumi. You wanted to know the truth behind the fire that killed your family no matter what, right? Investigating the truth. There is no falsehood in those words. I meant every word. After a long moan of breathless silence. Hmm? With a cry, Killer Peach vanishes. Ooh. You did it! You are seriously amazing to be able to face a spear like that. Mm -hmm. Something's over there. The Katana Killer Peach used lies on the ground at the spot where she disappeared. 
I got a katana. So the sword. That means she's leave, leaving the rest up to you. How should I know? Well, with things the way they are now, it may come in handy. I'll pretend I didn't see you take an illegal weapon for now. Hand it over when we leave, though. Whatever. I'm not planning on getting much future use with this. You were entrusted with everything. Mannequin going by its sides, it must be for kids. They're soaked and scalded by fire, but still manage to keep their shapes well. Or there's nothing worthwhile. I had to look in the red monster that no in the place that no longer exists. So I don't know where the card is, but whatever. There's the chain. We step out into a wide burnt area. It looks like the fire was the worst here. Walls, floor, ceiling, everything charred pitch black. According to the report, these children's plaza was where the fire started. It used to be a play area with equipment. There's there are chains on the ground. Is this where the rumored demon Tsukiyomi ritual happened? Probably. Everything points to it, but that's also if it was even done at all. Fafa, Mama! That's Santa for my Christmas present, okay? Promise? I'm waiting. You heard that voice too, right? It sounded like a child crying. I wonder if they came to buy presents and were caught in a fire. How many supernatural things does that make now? I've lost track. Well, just ignore it. Let's look around. <laughs> Sorry. Big stretch. I shine the flesh on the floor and several burnt corpses come into view. Hey, the corpses! No way, they were just there. It's hard to believe. The corpses that had been so vividly real a second ago have vanished without a trace. Oh, there's a trace, you can see it. Maybe the victim's grudges showed that tragic scene to us. Hmm. There's a black sand of some kind where one of the corpses has been. Had been. I move closer and reach out toward it. Damn, my ears are buzzing loud enough and I'm going into vertigo. I'm going to get vertigo. Must be the blood of the victims. A gun on the floor. This gun. I think it's the one the arsonist had. Find something? Found the gun the arsonist had. What? I pick up the gun from under the bench and show it to her. Looks like it still works. Yeah. What do you do with it now? Preserve it as evidence? Nah. If the thing still works, it might come in handy when we're fighting the spirit. Doubt a gun will work on the spirit. Don't know till you try. Anyway, I'll get better evidence from Tomoko Okuyama's house. Okay. I'll take it once we get out of here, out of this light, so don't go losing it now. If worse comes to worse, you turn, you'll turn a blind eye to me shooting this, right? Depends on how I'm feeling at the time. Hey. A shotgun. Not just a gun, but a shotgun.
I saw I reach out and touch the book. What in the world are you thinking? What will this even accomplish? It's not too late to... Oh no, he's marked. Shut up, idiot. This is the most important part. It's the department store before it was burned. But something's off. A man with a cigarette hanging from his mouth looks down at several adults chained together. On his arm are some familiar looking mouths. Between him and the adults is a kid, looks like he's soaked in something. The plastic container on the floor makes it pretty obvious what that something is. Masaru. What are you gonna do with Masaru? So this kid's name is Masaru, huh? That's my name too! Maybe that'll make mom happy. You asshole! The man with the scarf tries to jump forward. But two other grab onto him. D don't move. He'll kill us too. Just endure it. I don't want to die. Let me go, Mas Masaru. Baba, mama, help me. Oh, Masaru. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall we get started? Mom's waiting after all. I think I'll start with this kid. He plucks the cigarette from his mouth and turns the fiery tip towards the kid. <laughs> Cry loudly for me, okay, Masaru? For Demon Tsukuyomi's sake. <laughs> Demon Tsukuyomi, Demon Tsukuyomi, please come here. Demon Tsukuyomi, Demon Tsukuyomi, please grant my wish. Please, my mom. Damn, I feel sick. You don't look so well, Kay. Did you see something? Of course. I always see something. And they'll Suki and Oe about the tragedy that happened here. The demon Tsukiyomi ritual sacrificing a bunch of families. The man laughing horribly as he did it. I can barely even say the words. Then the demon Tsukiyomi ritual was what he was really after, huh? Looks like, yeah. The granted wish needs to be proportional to the value of the burned object, so we burned the living humans. Kate, you said the arsonist was a man, yeah? Yeah, in his thirties maybe said his name was Masaru, and he had mouths on his arms. Mouths. It's Kakuya's curse, sorry, this is a bunch of Izzy in my system. Better explain, I tell her about the horrifying mouths that appear on me and Aunt Natsumi. In other words, the arsonist might have been caught up in Kakuya's game. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. Look at a mouth. Countless mouths surface and begin crudely laughing. It's almost the finale of the tale. Demon Sukiyomi, Demon Sukiyomi, please grant my wish. Shit, I don't have much time left. The curse is getting worse. Yeah. That's bad. She falls silent thinking about something. What's gotten into you? Isn't the only way to stop the curse to defeat the spirit? Yeah. Then we need to find it, right? Yeah. Then it's sink or swim. We'll call Demon Tsukiyomi. So you're saying we gotta perform- Oh, sorry. We have to perform the ritual. Yeah. Cause, yeah. That's our only choice. Another way to escape the curse other than doing something about the demon Tsukiyomi. Time's running out, I gotta take a gamble. It's like a tightrope walk over a chasm. Actually, I've always... I'm always being backed up to the edge of the cliff. If we have chains, two hand mirrors, and something to burn, we can summon demon Tsukiyomi. Tsukiyomi. The chains are here, so we just need the mirrors and a fire starter. I should have brought the compact mirror. Hazuki, you have a hand mirror, don't you? Well, my escape was kind of in a rush, so I forgot my makeup pouch. 
Don't look at me either, by the way. You're kidding. What about something to start a fire? Sorry, Kate. I only wish I had the ability to set things on fire. I don't smoke, but I've got a lighter on me. Then all we need is something to burn. Nothing, nothing for it? I'll have to look around. What's this song? I think it's Jingle Bells. The song was playing in the vision I saw. I could pick up slot and hunt. Something's there, but it's not burnt. Aha! Load my gauge to the right on the card. Congratulations for surviving all of Kakuya's games. You're exactly what I envisioned. Color me impressed. I've watched you triumph from the sidelines, and I'm sorting up all the info so far. First, it's, it's first is Kakuya. I wonder if she can't she can't pronounce Goo part of her name because she's a little girl. Let's refer to, refer to her as Kaguya Doll. This cursed girl was sealed in the mirror of the prestigious Moroku family. The seals weakened every ten years, and she could leave the realm of the dead for the present world. The ritual to seal her again was called Nagoshi no Gi. The same ritual which killed those little girls, I believe. But Kaguya isn't in the mirror. I suspect the ritual failed at some point. Now the game. You've experienced these games of death. For you, the games end in if you survive a spirit encounter. However, how you survive was up to you, and when the spirit was gone, the cycle repeated until your death or she got bored. But the purpose of these games wasn't to kill you. She only wanted a playmate, like a child wanting attention. Being a spirit without knowledge of love, she must have thought that was play. Who knows how she got the other spirit to listen? Perhaps magic similar to necromancy. I assume her way of hosting was to make them like fairy tales. A dull spirit that embodies the grudge of death. I have to say, Kaguya's game is very fitting. But it doesn't appropriately reflect your efforts. This is an era where Kaguya uses a phrase like NG. We could call it Necro Game among ourselves. Though you likely couldn't care less about the name. My apologies. At any rate, you survived NG and saved your sister. I wish you a happily ever after. I wonder why Kaguya was obsessed with you. How the hell did Demon hide a card here? Thoughts for another time. No right now I gotta take care of Demon Sukiyomi. Let's use these mates out of the Yeah, the victims were wrapped in chains. Gas was, was poured on them and then they were set on fire. Some grand ritual sacrificing innocence just for his own ego. The venom in a word stops my tongue. Maybe I can learn something if I touch the chains. Might see more. I'll take the information I can get. Ugh! The instant I touch them, my hand is scalded by the searing heat. I quickly yank my hand back. What happened? The chains are still hot. Huh? Oh, seriously? They look like they'd be cool to the touch! The chains don't look hot at all, but I definitely felt heat when I touched them. Ah! Uh -huh. Clearly it with me, Hazuki reaches out to touch the chains and gets burned. Y you're right! I probably use this for ritual. I pull a slightly burned hand mirror out from among the toys. The mirror part isn't burnt at least, so we can use it. Whoa! This takes me back. This is the magic rod that magical girl Jay used. That must be kind of some kind of shoujo anime. She dances around. She's hopping around so much her skirt flares up. Ah, did you see? No, and I wasn't trying to. Ugh. You'll totally get cursed if you peek. Yeah, what kind? The words Momo's personal servant will magically appear on your face. Yep, that's definitely a curse. <laughs> I keep my voice low, but Jose can still hear me. She yells me in the side. There's a bunch of other plushies on display. They don't look they don't all look like it, but most are wet to the touch. So wet I kinda wanna to, want to shove any shove I don't want to shove any of them in my bag. Huh? There's something red between a few of the animals and I grab it. What's a flare doing here? 
It was between soaked plushies, so it's also what making it unusable. But it's definitely a flare like the ones on the floor by the elevator. That's too bad, if it wasn't wet. Yeah. Sighing, I put it back. H hey, you think you can use these gloves? For what? That's your job to figure out, Cade. Brighter gloves. I find a toy robot nearby that still looks normal. Normal enough, anyway. Wow, what a funny looking robot! Duh, it's burnt. No, no. It's still rather funny looking even without being burnt. Would any boy actually want it? I'm sure there were some. I look around me more, but everything else is burnt beyond recognition. We could use flares for the ritual, but these are too wet to use. They're rolling every everywhere, so let's see if any still work. Sure. I check each floor on the ground if these can be used to fire a need for the ritual. So, find any good ones? N no, they're all soaked. Oh well. I've got everything, but I couldn't find anything to burn. If we could just use that flare. We just need the gunpowder inside. Hey, I found a flare mixed in with the toys you found earlier. It was too wet to use, but if there was one in a place like that, maybe there are flares in other places too. True. Some might even be usable. But one ain't gonna be enough. We'll need a bunch of them. Got it. Guess I'll go back and double check where I've already looked. I searched around the display. I found one! I think we can use it too. But... What are flares doing in a place like this? Beats me. Probably left by the arsonist. There's no way to understand people like that. <laughs> now I'll keep looking elsewhere. Once we call Demon Sukiyomi, the truth will come to light. Yeah. Way gonna lose my mind. You find anything? Nope. Oh. Whoa, there's one over there. Great job. Keep looking for others. Take out the rider gloves. Uh, so we can touch it. Okay. There are three flares around it. Here's hoping they're still okay. Pick each up, each one up, and check it to see if it can be used. Turns out three or two of the three are too burnt, but the last one seems like it could still work. Wish all of them were good. At least it wasn't a total bust. Found one. Hey, nice work. Keep looking for others. Bet you go do some work.
Aha, it's a flare in the pot. Found one that looks like it still works. Hey, nice work. Keep looking for others. Bitch, I don't want to. Oops. Not what I meant to do, sorry. I don't know what buttons to push. I'm bad at this. My save function gone right now? Huh, interesting. For once I can Did I not save? Oh, there we go. It's like, what the fuck is going on? Hi, bubby girl. again. And there might be spots that aren't wet. We search every nook and cranny for thoughts for dry. Ah, there's a patch behind some of the plushies. We're pushing them aside and see one of the big hole in its back. A red tube poking out of it. Found one that looks like it still works. Hey, nice work. Keep looking for others. Oh, come on. I want to stop. I don't like... How many does that make? I count the flares in my bag. Five. Some, kind of, some are kind of damp, but... We only need the gunpowder inside them. With a the flare, they'll dry right up and ignite. With a flame. I'll head back to the open area and start preparing them. What's this? You know what it is, bastard. The screams from the mouthpiece pierce my brain. The tale has reached happily ever after. Yomi demon Tsukiyomi demon Tsukiyomi demon don't open don't open don't open don't open demon Tsukiyomi demon Tsukiyomi demon su please grant my wish please grant my wish please Oh you clean in mama's hand almost huh all that's left to do is rituals call demon Tsukiyomi and defeat it Break down the flares and then just leave the gunpowder on the floor. We'll need multiples so it burns longer. Exactly. I take out the flares and tear them apart. I'll have two. It's way too much effort, but at least it's worth it. We managed to gather quite a bit of gunpowder. Should be plenty now. Hurry and get the other stuff ready. Accidentally touch the chains. So? They're not hot, I can carry them this way. I maneuver the chains into a circle. Is this okay? You didn't change shit. Yeah, that should be fine. The chains are ready now. Lock and chains on the floor. 